My name is Bree Janae Campbell. Okay, and Bree, what you go up to for prayer for this evening? Well, I didn't even know I was supposed to go up to prayer. <laughs> I had no intentions of going up there until uh, Michelle had said one thing before prayer. She had said, I've like uh, had a vision before night of this harp-shaped rocket, and it's barely open. And as soon as she said that, I was like, that looks familiar to me. And I was like, holy crap, Jesus. I have that as a tattoo. <laughs> and I was like, no way. And I was like, and it was, she was talking about how if your heart is barely open because of unforgiveness and hatred and just pushing people away and just, even if they've hurt you, you've not dealt with it, but you just push them away, Christ can't use you. And I was just like, oh man. <laughs> so I walk all the way around the tent because Michelle doesn't realize I'm behind her and then she turns and sees me and I'm like, hey. And then I show her the tattoo and then she realizes and she's just like, oh. And I just start crying and that was it. You know, that was it, just crying. She prayed freedom over me. Because I've dealt with this whole thing of where I'm like, I feel like I can't fully be used by God because I keep holding on to this one thing. I keep saying I let it go, but then I stupidly keep picking it back up. And that's just a horrible habit women have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm wanting to let it go, and I'm letting it go in Jesus' name because my completeness comes from Him. My wholeness comes from Him. I am completely secure in Him and who He is in me. And... That's where my identity is found. It's not found in the pain or the hurt from the past. It's found in him and what plans he has for me in the future. He's Amen. been speaking to me for the past two weeks about Jeremiah 33, 3. Yeah. Everyone in the first night that were here heard me say, holy crap, really loud when Todd had brought it up. And I was like, God prophesied that over me. So that's yeah. him prophesying that over me, saying, show me, ask me uh, of things in the future that you do not know, and I will show you. And that's where I'm just like, I've always, you know, had a fear of doing that, but now I let it go and let him be God. Let go, let God. Let, let go, let God. Yeah. <laughs> so.